The FIS Snowboard Cross World Cup Tour built to a dramatic conclusion with rounds eight and nine of the World Cup Tour in Mont Saint Anne, Quebec, Canada. A new venue for all of the athletes on the World Cup Tour. In the women's big final in race one, Charlotte Banks did not get the best of starts, finding herself down in fourth place. But as we track down to this technical course, winding through the trees, Banks worked her way through the field up against Lindsay Jacobellis, Fagolini, and Chloe Trapush. Banks in at first over the final rollers, and Chloe Trapush pressing those rollers to just pip Lindsay Jacobellis to second place. Six wins in a row now on the World Cup Tour for Charlotte Banks, Chloe Trepush in second, and Lindsay Jacobellis in third. I made a mistake in the semi on the soft snow in bank four, so I just wanted to yeah, give it to the end, have no regrets, and pretty crazy. Delight for Charlotte Banks as she inches closer to her second career Crystal Globe. The men were up next with their big final and the local favourite Elliot Grondan was in fine form. He's in the red bib and he gets the best of the starts up against the world champion Jakob Dusek. And Lucas Aguibar from Spain on a fine run of form in the latter half of the season. Lorenzo Somariva from Italy in the mix as well. But Elliot Grondan just able to hold off the flying Jakob Dusek on the line to take. The win here in Mont Saint Anne in front of his friends and family. A spectacular performance from Grandin taking the 100 World Cup points on home snow. It feels awesome. I mean, it's, it's just been quite hard for me, and to be able to win at home like that in front of my friend and my family is just it's unreal. A special victory for Elliot Grandin from Canada, winning on home snow for the first time in his career. On day two, after nearly 30 centimetres of snow, we were ready to race. Lots of work done to clear the track and the Crystal Globes were on the line. Different lineup for the final, but Chloe Trapush was there again. Up against Josie Babb from Australia, the world champion Adam Shakova from the Czech Republic, and Pia Zirkold, who got the best of the starts from Austria. Lots of fresh snow on the course. The track was running a little bit slower, but the world's best able to handle the tricky conditions. Josie Baff had the lead into the finish straight, and she held it right to the line, holding off Pia Zirkold and Chloe Trapush. Josie Baff winning the first and last race of the World Cup Tour. Good start for the first time today and I wasn't really sure what to do when I was leading the pack but I just tried to stay calm and patient and it worked and I was just hoping the girls weren't going to draft me down the finish straight. Josie Baff celebrates her second win of the season. Big step forward. Great progress for Josie Baff. Charlotte Banks though takes the Crystal Globe for the second year in a row. She finished in fifth place today. The Globe handed to a delighted Charlotte Banks. Remarkable consistency all season long. And you can see just what it means to the British rider. Light snow was falling and the men's crystal globe was coming down to the final race of the season. A battle between Martin Noel and Lucas Aguibar, separated by just 24 points coming into today's race. We were treated to an absolute classic. One of the closest races we've had in the history of this sport. Noel Grondin and Vedder separated by a matter of inches. In the end, Martin Noel just got the win ahead of Jake Vedder. Noel Vedder and Grondin, the one, two, three. Grondin on the podium for the second race in a row. Yeah, amazing. I mean, like, we were all in the big final with Lucas and stuff. It was so close. We know whoever wins this race win the Crystal Globe. Like, I think it's more or less for sure. Now, I won the Globe, but it was so tight this season. Crazy. The moment Martin Noel can celebrate a job well done on the top step of the podium and on the top of the men's World Cup standings. Lucas Aguibar settles for second and Elliot Grondin jumps up to third place ahead of Omar Vicentin. Martin Noel picking up the Crystal Globe for the second time in his career, defending last year's title. And now a well-earned rest for all of the World Cup snowboard cross athletes. 
been a long, busy season for these exceptional athletes. The Crystal Globes are decided. Congratulations to Charlotte Banks and Martin Noel for their wins. They'll be back in 2023-2024 to see if they can win them yet again. Download the FIS app to keep track of all the news ahead of next season.